Hey guys, Pokemon X video number 70. Oh my god! So yeah, in the last video we left Snowbell City and went down Route 21. We pushed some rocks around. Um, got here to the Victory Road gate. Um, went out the other side, went to Route uh, 22, pushed some more rocks around, battled a couple people, and we got the team for Earthquake, which I'm teaching to uh, Lear right now. He's gonna forget Dig and learn Earthquake. Epic time. Epic time! Yeah. That is pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie! Where am I going? Where I'm going, I'll tell you where I'm going. I'm going over to Santaloon City to uh, get, I believe it's Trevenant, out of the, uh, the PC box. Because, uh, in the last video I had Lapras because I was waterfalling. So, yeah. I want my full team with me when I go through Victory Road, which is what I'm going to do in this video and in the next three videos. And if I have to use Waterfall, I'll just teach it to, to Willy. And just deal with it. So, yeah. Alright. Little prep work here in the first part of the video. But that's o oh, I turned two suits. But that's okay. While I'm doing that, um, in the last video I asked, uh, what's your favorite item to give Pokemon the powers of their attacks? Uh, and uh, Diego, uh, you answered, uh, you like the choice items. Uh, I guess that's like the choice scarf, choice specs, choice. Is there like a choice band? I think there is. But yeah, the choice items. Okay. What am I doing? Oh! <laughs> oh, I, I know what I'm doing. I... I <laughs> I had gone to do all that stuff, and then I thought, you know what? I'm not going to start the video there. I'm going to start it later. So that's what I'm doing here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're seeing a little bit of uh, mis-editing. I guess I could go back and fix it, but I'm not going to. I mean, it's it's only 20 minutes long. <laughs> oh, but that's like three minutes of the video wasted. Uh, oh, well. That's okay. <clears throat> that is okay. Alright, so now here I am. <laughs> now let's talk to this guy. Oh, what? He's gonna test our abilities here. This is Ace Trainer Robbie, and he has a carbink. Ah. Oh, freaking carbink, man. Hi. Stevie! Using that moon blast. <clears throat> so yeah, Victory Road is going to take a total of four videos. It probably could have been three because there is one point where I like keep going, or there's several points actually where I like like double back and go like around in circles and yeah, I just yeah, I just kind of get I don't get lost so much as I just like yeah, like, keep doubling back and taking like wrong turns and uh, stuff like that okay guys so I'll tell you what I've been doing and why I've been so sleepy lately is I've been playing SimCity have you guys ever played SimCity uh, I've been playing SimCity and um, I'm, I'm playing SimCity 3000 which actually came out back in like 1999 I, I found the disc the other day while I was like cleaning up some stuff I was like oh wow I remember this game so I installed it on my computer again, and I've been playing it. And, oh, it's so freaking addicting. It's more addicting than this. And, um... Yeah, it's so addicting. I was thinking about actually... Doing an LP of SimCity 3000. I mean, I know that kind of goes against everything I do, like, you know, because Pokemon, but I'll, I'll find a way to... To kind of, you know... Pokemonize it. 
I don't know how, but, you know. I'll name all the hospitals, like, Pokemon Center. Schools will all be the, you know, the Pokemon school. The police stations will be, like, Officer Jenny. <laughs> But yeah, I was kind of thinking about hmm, doing like a little LP of SimCity 3000. So uh, I want to get you guys' feedback on that. What, what, what would you think if I did that? Would you actually watch it or like, is like, Matt, what are you doing? This type of thing. Like, why are you doing this? You're, you're a Pokemon gamer, you know, why? So, we'll see. We'll see. <coughs> But this is pretty epic right here. It's like kabam. I'm like, wow. All right, Victory Road. We are officially inside. <laughs> Victory Road. And you know, this game in the first four generations, you know, Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh. Victory Road was always just a cave. And now here, they've like... They've added more. Part of it's cave, part of it is outside. So it's... I think they've added more to Victory Road in, in this game and in... Um, um, Pokemon uh, Black and White 2. Not black and white so much, but black and white too. Because in black and white, you could come out on those little cliffs and stuff. Which, you know, was kind of maybe what gave them the idea. But in black and white too is when... Oh, guess what? You know, yeah, you like enter through this little grassy area. And then you can come out and surf and go into all these little caves and stuff. So... While it was annoying because it was long and hard to like navigate... I liked it because it was like it was different, you know, and it 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 made Victory Road a little bit more interesting. So they've kind of done the same thing here. Oh, and yeah, that that strength rock, I'll uh I'll kind of talk about that when I get to it, but it's kind of neat actually. Um you don't have to do it, but I I recommend it. Let's see. How do I get to that? Is there a way to get to that pond? I don't think so. Girder. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try, I, I posted a tweet here about 15-20 minutes ago I guess that I was going to try and upload four videos today. I'm going to try and do all four Victory Road videos today because that was my goal. My goal was to get through Victory Road by today. Um, Monday I uploaded video six, Monday I uploaded video 68. I wanted to upload video 69 on Monday too, but I, I actually like ended up getting busy that day and didn't have time to do the second video. Um, so I ended up uploading video 69 yesterday, and then again ended up getting busy. Didn't have a chance to upload any of these, so yeah. All four Victory Road videos uploaded today, ideally. The next week, um, yeah, next week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday will be kind of a laid-back week as I'm taking on the Elite Four. And, uh, yeah, I'll finish the main game portion of the, uh, of the, of the game. And as far as after game goes, I totally, 100% completely plan on doing that. I mean, I've never played this game, so, I mean, of course I'm going to do that. Um, looking at the Pokemon map, though... I only see one city that, like, I haven't been to yet. So, I'm not sure how much of an after game there is to this game. I hope there's a, a, a good 
after game. It seems to be, because there are a couple of places, like that place in Terminus Cave, and then the one over in the, the Pokemon Park, that the guy was like, oh, you can only go through here if you're the champion. So, I know those places, I'm going to have to go back to them, but as far as any new places go, I just see that one little town. Um, now, I don't know if it's like new places like appear or something like that. You know, like in Fire Red and Leaf Green, you've got like the one island, two island, three island, four, that stuff. So, I don't know if we have places like that in this game, but I, I guess I'll find out as I uh, start doing the after game. Um, that's what I did in, in uh, Pokemon World Fight 2. Cause like I would I would like talk to everyone. Cause when I defeated the Elite Four, I went and talked to like the professor. And, or no, it was Hugh actually who said, "Oh, you know they said something about a Pokemon over at you know Victory Road." And I was like, "Oh really?" So I went back over to Victory Road, which I found the Pokemon, and then that led me somewhere else. So usually these games are pretty good at kind of pointing you in the right direction. As long as you, you know, talk to everyone and actually, like, do what they tell you to do. So. Sorry if you heard that, but I'm really thirsty, so I'm, I'm drinking my, my Gatorade as I go through this. I'm going to be narrating for a long time today. So, I figure I have a little thirst quencher. <clears throat> oh, but there's a my champ. I got Stevie here. Yeah, but you know, talking about that, not really knowing what's what to expect in the after game. I'll be honest, I don't really know what to expect with the Elite Four. I know that the champion is that like De Deantha or whatever her name was. I can't want to say Deancy, but that's a Pokemon. That's an event Pokemon that they've like like yet to like announce when the event is going to be or what the event I keep like they were talking about like a mystery gift event for DNC uh you know before as soon as they come up with that if they do a mystery gift I'll you know definitely do a video on that um hello but yeah I think the the champion's name is like Diantha Remember we met her? She was an actress. We met in Lumio City when we like went through there the first time. And I think we met her again in, um, I want to say it was in that, that train station in the city with the, uh, the grass-type gym leader. You know, the city where you have to take the train to go from the north part to the south part? Oh, I can't think of that city's name right off the top of my head. But we, I think we met her there again. But yeah, she's the champ. And that's all I know. Like, I don't know anything about the Elite Four. I don't know what Pokemon they have, what types they specialize in. I don't even know their names. Hey, for all I know, it could be like, you know, an Elite Five, you know? But I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still just an Elite Four. <clears throat> in Pokemon Bloody Platinum, they didn't have, like, the Elite Four and the Champion. They had... Technically, they had the Legendary 5, which I thought was kind of neat. The Legendary 5. <clears throat> because think about it, that just makes sense, you know? Okay, you're in the Elite Four, alright, you know what? Your job is to be there at the Pokemon League and, you know, take on challengers. But if you're the champ, the champion just, like, hangs out there at the Pokemon League? No, the champion's gonna be out there getting stronger. You know, when I defeat the champion... I don't just hang out at the Pokemon League, oh, okay, I will take on challengers. No, I go out there and, and keep exploring and keep getting stronger. So, that's why I like the concept in Bloody Platinum. That's one of the, the things I liked about Bloody Platinum, was the Legendary 5, as opposed to the Elite 4 and the Champion. Because it's like, okay, that's... <laughs> I always laugh when I use the word realistic in these games, but... It, that is more realistic. Okay, you have the Legendary 5. Okay, well, their job is to be there at the Pokemon League and take on challengers. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'm done. I'm done with that with that rant. <clears throat> See, here we are in an outside area again. So, 
Um, then we just defeated him like that. He's got that Haxorus. Nice waterfall. Yes, even though I'm not in any grass right now. <clears throat> Hyper Potion. Now, in, in yesterday's video, I mentioned how I hadn't fully explored the uh, victory road yet. That's because at, at that point when I uploaded or narrated yesterday's video, I hadn't. Um, I had played up to a certain point in victory road and then I had to qu quit for whatever reason. And I finished victory road last night. I, I kind of stayed up last night and just finished uh, playing through victory road. Um, and then this morning is when I actually went through and edited, and as you can tell by the beginning of this video, I didn't do a very good job of editing. But uh, it was this morning when I went through and edited the footage and broke it down into you know, four individual videos, and uh, now I'm narrating those. Uh, but I'll I'll show you at the point where I uh, I, I stopped uh, the other day because it was like it was last week actually, like last Wednesday. I, uh, I actually, like, just started playing last Wednesday. After I, uh, uploaded that, the video for that week. The last video for that week. <coughs> well, we defeated this person, so that's good. And since I'm uploading, or going to try to upload all four of these videos at the same time, I'm not going to have a question of the day for each individual video. I'll probably just have one for the group of four. So, that's okay. I remember in Blaze Black, I used to... Oh, it took me forever to edit those videos. Because I would go through and speed up the battles, and then I would, um... Like... I would totally edit out the parts where I was healing my Pokemon in between battles just because I had that 15 minute limit to deal with stupid I'm so glad I don't have to deal with that anymore I mean you guys see I, I most of my videos I try to make my videos about 20 minutes long I think that's pretty reasonable um, if it's under that's great if it's over you know that's okay um, you know, try to avoid having too many videos that are over the 20 minute mark. Sometimes it can't be helped. Um, like the next video, the video after this one, I think is 23 minutes, which isn't bad. But like the video before this one, which was like 27 minutes, 26, 20, 26, 7, 8. I try to avoid that. But uh, sometimes it just makes more sense to just have the one long video as opposed to splitting it into two shorter ones, but you know, what are you going to do? The Graveler shows up from the little rock smash there. <coughs> now, I should have mentioned this before, but you'll notice when we came in that door there, there were torches. Now, there's some cave doors that have torches, like as you walk in or as you leave, and there's some that don't. Now the ones that have the torches are the ones like you're you're going the right way as far as like actually getting through the cave and get it going towards the elite four. Uh, there's a lot of uh, like other little cave doors that'll just take you to other areas of the cave. Um, for instance, one is coming up here. Um, it doesn't really get you anywhere other than it might get you to a place where there's like a an item or a trainer to battle. Um, so yeah. I mean, getting through the cave, just like if, just getting from point A to point B to Victory Road, or to the Pokemon League, is actually pretty straightforward. But if you're gonna try and fully explore the cave, then yeah, you're gonna be going all over the place. But see how that cave door didn't have the torches, so this 
this isn't the right way to go as far as actually getting to the Pokemon League. Now, I didn't realize that, and I was like, oh, well, there's, you know, the entrance, me thinking, oh, that's the way. So I'm going back this way, and that's the end of the video.